A difference on the cumulative frequency polygon goes back to our table. And you need a class boundaries. Okay. In the first class, the class, lower class boundary is 40.5. There is no one in your sample 40.5 years old. So there would be nobody in this grouping. So the cumulative frequency for the group before this would be zero. As a result, on our scale, we start with 40.5 here, as I've done, and we have a frequency, a cumulative frequency of zero. The next grouping is 45.5, and they were, the cumulative frequency was two for that group. Okay. I took a moment to write down the cumulative frequencies so I wouldn't forget them. Zero, two, five, twelve, twenty-two, twenty-three. So zero, two. Then the next one is 5, which occurs at 50.5, then 12, then 22, and finally 23 for 65.5. Okay. I draw a line, a segment between these, connecting these, to give the image of a graph that, never, that continues to increase but never drops back down. I have age and years as my horizontal label, cumulative frequencies for my vertical label, and my title, ages of parents, is close enough to the top, so I'm not going to recopy it with n equal 23. Two things you need to remember about this graph. You always start at frequency equals zero for the first lower class boundary. Over here at this left-hand side where there's no one this age, you always start with zero. And on the other thing is, do not tie the right edge down. This edge will continue to increase. Do not tie that back down. It does not need to be tied down. Stop video.